what's up everyone it's I don't know which month this is it's May 4 2023 and today we are doing something really 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 nice which is this is in my Google account where the fuck is my Google account? all right so today we are gonna watch and learn from one of Charlie Morgan's SMMA model for 2023 it's already been January February March April May it's already been five months fuck I haven't made anything yet but this strategy is good so I'll start it right away in this video I'm going to basically completely change your life and show you how to structure your agency and remodel your offer and everything that you do so that acquiring clients is bloody easy. If it's the case that you haven't got a bank of testimonials yet, you haven't got a huge amount of experience, you haven't got a huge amount of confidence in your ability to deliver results and you're kind of like, oh my god, how am I going to get clients because like nobody's going to trust me. This video is going to show you two different models that you can use for your agency and two different pricing strategies that I would personally use if I was starting from scratch. So I built my first agency when I was 18 years old and I basically was into this like framework of retainers. I was like, I have to charge one to two thousand dollars a month because people to buy and that massively slowed me down. It took me, I think, 15 or 60 sales calls to sign my first client and even then I got lucky because ultimately I didn't have conviction in my ability to deliver. If I used this model, what would have happened is I would have signed a bunch of other clients and made more. Facts. This is a really important point because I also read Alex Ramos' 100 million offers and what one thing he emphasizes on that book is set the value so high like the <coughs> price range so high so people only that specific targeted people will be able to buy your stuff and that's what you want but the thing is like if you are a beginner like i'm just a marketing grad easy as that if you are a beginner first thing you don't know how it works exactly to be honest with you second thing you don't have that much experience so people are not gonna buy a two thousand dollar stuff from you first thing and you are not that confident you can deliver that service first line woke up early baby so it's better to keep the price lower and you can make it higher once you're like at a specific range so it's better to make it lower if you're a beginner money and had, had more confidence and, and got well into it faster. faster. So, so in this video, I'm really excited to break it down on my screen and hopefully change the way you model your agency so the client acquisition becomes that significantly easier for you. So here we are inside the trusty laptop. So my name is Charlie Morgan. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I basically will scale my own agency to $100,000 a month. This dude provides a lot of good value. Not like the code and code stuff, but he provides good value and he's not like trying to get people into his course ASAP, he just provides a value for cent, which is good. Consulting. And now I run a company called Imperial Acquisition to make five hundred thousand dollars a month helping agency owners with client acquisition. Okay. So that's what I do. So this is you, right? And no, I'm not the best drawing, but this is you, right? And if you're new to the game, i.e. you've been in business for maybe less than a year. You're, you're probably, probably struggling, struggling to acquire clients. You, you probably find that you just you're constantly yeah, just like, like you're just spinning your wheels, wheels, trying to figure out what works, making cold calls, sending cold emails, trying to create content. content. You're, you're also working on all sorts of stuff. It's just a nightmare, right? So this is you, and we're going to pull you out this nightmare. So, the first model is a pay per lead model. Now, not in the traditional sense, though. So, when I say pay per lead, People misunderstand the best way to do this because they assume that what it means is that you just get paid every time you generate a lead. There's a way of structuring your agency, your pricing, your offer, and your service in a way that is, in my opinion, I'm pretty fucking genius for coming up with this. Yes, you are. So let's go through it. So here's the thing. So let's say you need that level of confidence, guys. Like literally, he, I can see he's not bragging. Your service time to generate a lead. There's a way of structuring your agency, your pricing, your offer, and your service in a way that is, in my opinion, I'm pretty fucking genius for coming up with this. He's not bragging. He's like honest with this shit. I need that level of confidence. Fuck yeah. So let's go through it. So here's the thing. So let's say, let's just take for argument's sake that you work with the gym. Right? So you work with gyms. 
and you want to make, say, $1,000 per month from each client, right? Because that's, that's pretty much like the stand. So I'm working on restaurants right now. You've done the math in your head. You know, 10 clients, 10 right? Here's what you want to do. If you want to make $1,000 a month for each client, first of all, a paper lead model, or even better, a paper appointment model. Now, if you are new to SMMA and you haven't yet done lead generation campaigns, you're, you're not going to know how to do paper, paper appointments. So, so figure out how to do paper lead, and then once you figure that out, then you can do paper appointment. Okay, okay. If, you if you want to go straight to the end of it and do paper appointment, then you can. Even a paper, paper show. show. But for the, the sake of this model, we're going to keep simple and just call it paper lead. Okay, keep it simple and get that result. But most people think the traditional paper lead model is, you know, as soon as you generate a prospect for the for the client, then you get paid. So, so when, when this person submits a form online and gives their name, their number, and their email, you build a client for that lead. And that, that is a traditional paper lead model, and it doesn't work. That's a good drawing, bro. You told you're not good at drawing. That's really good drawing. Well, this is the next model I'll show you. The model that I like to use, and the model that I would be using if I ran my own agency, is penny per lead upfront. Right. So I'm going to show you how this works. The clients love this. Okay. So, so, what you, you do is, is you say to your clients, look, we, we work on a paper lead basis, basis but, but the last thing you want is your accounting to be a mess, and for me to be billing you every single day for leads that come in, it's chaos, it's, it's impossible to track, and it's a nightmare for you, it's a nightmare for me. So the, so the way, way we work as a prospect is we set and guarantee a specific amount of leads against a specific qualification criteria so you know they're going to show up and be the right fit for you. Okay, so we remove that rest. I'm going to guarantee you a certain amount of leads. We're, we're going to set a price on what you pay for those leads. We're, we're going to let a month roll out, and, and if I don't generate that number of leads, I will refund you the collateral against what you pay me. So you're not going to make that mix time. So let's say you want to make $1,000 per month. So let's say that you set, I'm not saying this is what you should set, but this is just an example, it's arbitrary, right? Let's say that you set the cost of $20 per lead. That's what you think the lead is worth, and that's what, more importantly, that's what the market is willing to pay for a lead. Qualified lead, are they willing to pay $20 per right? So... You, you set, set up the cost of the What you then do is you, you say to the prospect, what you're, you're going to do is you're, you're going to pay me the thousand dollar a month retainer. And this, this is where people, people get confused. So bear with me. You, you say to the prospect, you pay me a thousand dollars now. I'm going to guarantee you fifty leads minimum. Promise, guarantee, swear it on my life. I'm also going to cap. You don't have to do this, but it's up to you. I'm also going to cap. Right. Let's try to draw a cap. Looks like disabled duck. But anyway, um, you're, you're going to draw a cap on how many leads they pay, pay for. Because you say to them, look, if we do pay per lead and I go crazy and generate 150 leads that you can't deal with, you're going to pay through the roof for leads that are inefficient and you can't deal with. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cap it at 50 so that any extra value that goes beyond that you're not paying extra for. So by paying me up front, not only do you miss out on you don't have to deal with this accounting nightmare, but it also means you cap your spend, which means you can predictably reliably budget for the growth of the business it's not chaotic. That's, That's how, how you get around the objection. So, so, you promise them 50 leads. leads. Here's the cool thing. What, what you then do is you say to them, if we don't generate 50 leads, we refund you against the collateral of what you pay. What, what that means is if you generate 49 leads, right, because we know the value of each lead is $20. So, so for, for every lead that you miss under this guarantee, you refund them the value of the initial lead. <laughs> While watching this, my brain is like firing on the backside. Literally, like, I'm getting out of my insecurities and anxiety, which is cool. I was, like, literally thinking and visualizing on the back end, like, how good is my offer? Like, next time I see a business offer, I'm like, hi, how's it going? I help business grow. I had to restructure it anyways. But that's holding on my back. Painful. Let, Let me give you an example because it gets hard to follow. If, if you, you only generate 49 leads out of 50, then you refund them $20. And you refund them $20 because, because you missed one lead, and the value of one lead is 20 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say that you only generate 25 leads, right? You generate 25 on the month. Well, then what you do is you then go ahead and you refund them $500 because what's 25 times 20 is 500. And, and so, so what this allows you to do is it allows you to collect a bunch of cash up front. Obviously, the prospect is still going to have to pay for ad spend, so, so you need to tell them that the ad spend thing is separate, it's 750 a month, it's 1k a month, that, that doesn't touch my pocket, I can't make guarantees on that because the money doesn't go to me. I can't refund you money that I don't receive. They'll understand that, it's fine. As for paying you, you tell them, 
If, if we, we don't generate the number we promise, promise I will briefly do this as another second model I'm going to show in a second, so, so just stick around because there's an even cooler way of doing this specifically for other niches like econ, etc. So just stick around. But that's the premise of the sales argument. Alright, so let me give another example. Let's take the. Um, that sounds interesting and at the same time effective because if you just buy some money for no reason, like without guaranteeing a shit, that won't work. But this time, I'm helping the restaurant owners right now. So, restaurant owners, one k per month. So let's say you want to charge them two thousand dollars a month. You want to make two thousand dollars per month per client, so you can have four clients to go sell the beach bar, right? So let's say you set the value. I don't know. This is not a trade number, but I'm not telling you if you're in the current. I'm not saying you should charge it. Do not take this as gospel. I'm making numbers simple. Let's say that you know you're going to say it's a hundred dollars. Now let's say this is a pay per appointment offer. So it's a hundred dollars for every book qualified appointment. If you're wondering. Qualified means we'll grab that day. Subscribe. That's good. Means we'll grab that day. Subscribe. So what you're going to do is you say to them, all right, what I'm going to do is you're going to pay $2,000 now as a down payment. And you have to position it as it's a deposit against the future appointments you'll get. Makes sense. So, 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 you know, before buying like $1,000, a month or the restaurant shit I'm doing is so cheap I just got, have to get them orders no clients nothing just they have to buy food online so if I could get like $500 down I can use that for like what two months or if I could get like thousand dollars a month I can use that for like four months so once I got like the upfront payment I can work for them the upcoming four months which is effective and they're long-term clients win-win fuck yeah pay me for marketing you're paying a down payment a deposit for a set number of leads that will be delivered over the month right and you have a contract for this and everything i'm not going to give you a contract until i get legal trouble with it here's my tip make a contract through chat gpt like put in a prompt create a contract letter for my client guaranteeing and fixing the price in alignment with the terms, terms of your, your state, state or country, country. you get the point. So you, so you take it for the prospect, I'm going to generate 20 leads. We're, we're going to value each appointment, appointment or 20 appointments, we're going to value each appointment at $100. My domination is coming in. <laughs> keep calm, Alan. Keep calm. Keep calm. Which puts the total value of all these appointments to $2,000. Mr. Prospect, if I give you 20 qualified appointments, would you say that's worth $10,000 to $2,000? The beautiful thing about this model is it makes the sales so much easier because then they are, in their mind, they are directly paying for appointments. So you say to the sales argument, it's like, man, like, I'm going to, would you say that $2,000 is worth 20 appointments? In, in your head, head if they're, they're qualified, qualified and they show up. Now, now you, you might have some doubt from them about quality of the leads or, oh, I don't want to pay up front because it's risky. But you, you say, look, man, you're going to do this with your credit card. card. We're, We're going to press it if you strike. So if you run off with your money, which I'm not going to do, or if I don't deliver and don't refund you, then you have this call, send you call recording, and you have the contract. You go to your credit card processor, you dispute the payment, you receive the money back within seven days. That never happens because people never dispute because we deliver, but you are protected. You're putting a deposit against these appointments, and if you don't get the We'll get the money back. By the way, Jeremy's, I hope you are watching this. Either through me, because I'm trustworthy and I promise I will refund you. Sorry, it's Regis. My bad. My bad. And if for any reason I'm not trustworthy, which I definitely am, but you know, if for any reason I'm not, then you go to your credit card provider, you just be paid, you get all the money back. Now, you could do that anyway, even if I got the leads, there's not much I can do about it. But I sent you a trustworthy person. So, so can, can you trust, trust me to give, give you your business, business and make it happen? That's, that's how you handle the objection. This, this lubricates the sale. I don't, the word, word lubricate, lubricate is awfully suspicious in this context. context. But you, you get the point, right? It lubricates the sale, it, it reduces the friction, and, and it increases the conviction. So in sales, how do we close points? How do we close deals? We reduce friction by buying, we increase conviction by buying. And this model allows you to do that. And so, so let's, let's say with the chiropractor guy, guy let's, let's say like, like you're like, oh shit, I've only generated 17 appointments for the month. Right, then, then well, what, what you're going to do is you're going to go in, in right? right? We, we know, know the value per appointment is $100, and, and we, we are three appointments off the guarantee. guarantee. So, so we, we do three times 100, and at the end of the month, we say, Mr. Prospect, 
as a man of my word, here's your $300 back, right? Now, now let's say that you actually generated 31 appointments, right? It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to put a cap on the number of appointments you generate and what you're building for, but maybe you say to them, listen, anything after 20... What the fuck is a cap? Sorry, I know I have a marketing degree, but I keep forgetting shit. In fast, 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 faster. It's not code of advertisement. I don't know, bro. What about in this? Yes. Market capitalization, which is the value of a company on the open market, is settled. No, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not able to find it. You fifty dollars, then, then you have, have some even more value. value. So you so say, look, after, after, after if, if I, I generate you fifty points this month, month we're, we're going to bill you for the extra thirty, thirty but at half the price. So, so you, there's, there's all sorts of ways you can move around with this, <clears> depending on how good you are. are it's a great little model, something that people don't consider. Um, it took me. Probably, Probably like four or five, five years of best made to realize this. <laughs> and I was like, why the fuck am I doing it? Yes. Um, mm. But ultimately, I love this model. So, there's, there's, there's a second model. model. And, and this is probably even smarter. smarter. No time, sorry. No points. I created, um, so you, so you heard it here first. I haven't copied these models from anyone. I haven't like stolen them or taken them to some course. This is from the source, directly from me. So, um, Let's, Let's get into it. So, so this one is called the Trojan Horse Retainer. Trojan Horse? That's a virus, um, right? This is for agencies that know they've got a great service, but are either in a really saturated niche, a really burned niche, or they just struggle to get the price. Right. So the Trojan Horse Retainer. So we all know the story of the Trojan Horse. I'm going to try and draw a horse here. Let's give it a go. Alright, you get the point. This, this is good at drawing, right? right? And inside this Trojan horse, you know, you know the story, you've got all these little army people. All these little army people, um, people, I think they're definitely called soldiers, Charlie. All these little army people, um, who basically got into this gate of this city, and then they basically all got out and then they ran out the city, uh, blah, 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 blah. Right, right. you know, we all you know, know the, the article story of the Trojan horse, and, and if you don't, then you definitely skip it back to school. So, how the hell does a Wooden horse with men in it that kill people applied to business. Well, in a pretty cool way. The Trojan horse retains very simple. It only really works if you can deliver good results. Because here's the thing about this Trojan horse here, right? If you're the army that sends the horse in, you can send the horse in, the horse could be as amazing as you want. But if the people inside can't fight, you don't have anyone inside, it doesn't matter. So what we're doing here with your agency is you go to, this is you, right? And this is your prospect, right? Both the bid to form, but it's fine. You go to the prospect, and what you do is you say this. You say, Mr. Prospect, I want you to pay me a retainer for me to do half the service. I want you to pay me every month a nice, fat, lump sum because I'm going to add value to you. What I don't want you to do is pay it now. What I want you to do is take me on. I'm going to show you my worth and prove to you that I can change your life and your business. And after one, two, three months of that, I'm, I'm going to introduce, introduce that retainer. So, so Mr. Prospect, I'm going to be honest with you. This, this is a Trojan, Trojan horse. horse. I'm going to get into your business, right? And I'm not going to charge you a retainer or try and bill you monthly for the now. After two months, three months, whatever, whatever period you want to pick, but I wouldn't recommend more than three months. Two months is ideal. After 60 days, you're going to be so reliant on my business. You might want to phrase this transparently, but this is how it works, right? You're going to be so reliant on my business, you have no choice to keep paying my retainer because I've changed your life and business. I want, I want to partner with you and provide so much value, value that you have no choice but to pay. That's, That's my strategy. strategy. Hmm. This one works once I completed the first one, which is paper appointment. I have to get some clients. 
in order to get to the Trojan horse, which is already requires a good result resulting agency. So, so what, what we do, do is, is, really good good service, right? Right? is, is you go to the prospect and you collect a set. You, have, you cannot do this, do not do this, do this without, without collecting a set. So, so what you do, do you do? Say, say you're the prospect. I say, look, so so I am an e-commerce agency, agency or any e-commerce agency. agency. So, so what you do, you cannot do this, do not do this without collecting a set. So, so what you do is you go set of your prospects and say, look, say I am an e-commerce agency or any e-commerce agency. agency. You, you are an e-commerce agency. agency. You have a problem like this. Here's what's going to happen. happen. You're, you're going to pay me a thousand dollars now. The reason you pay me a thousand dollars now is because over the next two months, you're not going to pay me another penny. Over that two months, I need to pay for my media buyers, I need to pay for my graphic designers, I need to make sure my team. So that thousand dollars is a profit. It goes to my team so that they have the ambition and the incentive to make sure you get good results. In two months' time, I'm going to come, come and knock on your door. Which means the upfront thousand dollars is for my team to eat media, graphics. What else is there? Uh, media graphics. That's it. Well, for a retainer, two thousand five dollars a month plus ten percent of that. By, By that point, you'll be so happy with the service we provided that you'll be happy to pay that to And the strategy here is very simple. Because if you, if you actually can deliver good results over a two-month period, you'll delay the gratification of the retainer. Because you're still getting paid. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not sign a client without that setup you pay. Because then they're not a client and then fuck you over. Hmm, he got like some bad experience. Do not do it. It's, it's tempting, tempting, but don't, don't bloody, bloody do it. It's the, the same, same thing with paper pay leaf. Okay, Re- this is what I also got. Like, I got only one client, which he's not paying me at all. It, because it's okay, I'm like, you're picking up some. Fuck it, I'll do it. We don't, don't go straight pay money because you need commitment. You need upfront payment, payment, otherwise, people have no incentive to treat you well. So you go to them and you basically say, so here's like, here's how it works. Like, month one, month two, month one, month two, and we've got month three here. Alright? So, so how that works is like, like month one, you say, look, you're going to pay me this um, onboarding fee. Don't, don't call it a setup fee, call it an onboarding fee. <laughs> or, or call it, um, call it like an expense fee. Set of like fee. A, t- a team expense fee. Something, Something that makes it tangible that they're paying that to, to go to your resources. Like, like a resource. This, you literally call, call it anything like a resource fee. So, so we have a resource fee of a thousand dollars. The reason behind that is because in order for me to run your campaign properly, I need to pay my team. I need, I need to, to make sure we've got the right creative, creative. And, and all of the, the total expense that will amount over the next two months is about a So you're, you're paying that, it doesn't, it goes, it doesn't go to my bottom line, it goes to my team, it just, just means we can get to set up properly. If you don't, don't have that thousand dollar resource fee, I can't, can't resource your campaign, you won't get results. So that's why I need to charge it. You have to justify You have to give them reasons, logical, tangible, understandable reasons. Otherwise, they just will be like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. So you say the resource fee. Obviously, they're going to pay that expense as well. They, they should have started. And, and then, then what you do, do month two, you charge them nothing. nothing. And then month three, you say, right, you set the expectation from the get go. Like, I'm going to charge you $3,000 a month. I'm going to charge you $10,000 a month. I'm going to charge you $1,500 a month. Whatever you feel is appropriate. But here's the thing if you've got a client, you know you can help. And you know you can service them really well. And you know that after two months, you'll be able to build their soft off. Like, what you're going to do is you just come to them in month three and say, hey, as we initially agreed in the sales call, and company, you got to understand in between this, you you should have to keep the result. Okay. You're, You're going to pay, pay the retainer. retainer. And, and then, then what you do when you onboard them, them here, right, at, at month one, one, day one, is you, you go into Stripe and you set a delayed payment of 60 days for the amount you want to charge. So you, so you don't, don't wait until, until month, month three <coughs> and say, oh, can you pay, pay me the invoice now? No. You tell them from the get go, we're going to set this payment up for 60 days from now. It's going to be two, it's going to be picking them out, right, whatever amount you want to charge. It's going to be two thousand months, three thousand months, it's going to be ten thousand months, and you will be automatically billed. I will check in a couple of days before just to let you know it's going to be billed, so it's not going to come out of the blue, but I'm not going to come asking to be paid. Because by doing this, 
they, they made a decision that they will pay the retainer. If you wait until month three and you haven't got it set up and they haven't mentally put in their card details and they haven't agreed to the date which they'll be billed, then you'll go to them in two months and then they'll be like, oh, can we just extend it for another month? Like, I think results are sort of coming in, we can't be profitable, but I just want to see for another month. That is exactly what will happen because you have to understand human nature and incentive. And that's how business owners will work. So, but, but by from, from the, the get-go, if you get the, the, the resource fee and, and you get the commitment and you say, look, look here's the payment, it's being scheduled, I will tell you the day before, maybe, maybe you don't want to, maybe, maybe you just tell them, them. you know, set that date and you know you're going to be billed. Maybe you don't want to tell them, it's up to you, how have you raised it? I would have to go. And then that way, it rolls around, it happens automatically, so there's not even a conversation, pay his invoice, you pay me, it's just done, right? So... It's, it's a great, great deal for them, it's a great deal for you. It only really works if you can deliver good results. results. So I want, I want to share this with you because that, that model is um, just as sort of potent as that pay per view up front model that I saw. Paper this is scratching the surface, surface, by the way. And um, we've actually got a program called Easy Grow. Trojan Horse, okay. Easy Grow is later, but it was tremendous value. Thanks, Charlie Morgan. Hope you guys learned something. I also learned something. I had to find clients now. Bye! No.